Roy back again. Back to another, uh, we're going to do a combo. This is going to be a, a vlog and yes, a garage sale find video. That's right. It is once again Saturday. This is the 5th of August, 2017. And uh, I am going to some garage sales. This has been requested by too many of you guys. I couldn't even name them. But, you know, this, this past year has been very interesting. Um, the way the weather has been so hot and rainy, there really haven't been a lot of good Saturdays where I've been able to go to garage sales. Well, today is definitely the exception rule. 78 degrees, really, really sunny out right now, and a very, very, very slight chance of rain. So I've already found a few good items. I'm going to wait till the end of this vlog to actually uh, show you guys what I picked up. Um, yesterday, Mom and I had a blast over at MacArthur Center. It had been so long since I've been there. I really, really enjoy going there. Even though I don't necessarily buy a lot, it's just fun to look around. That, uh, that water fountain is amazing. I just cannot get over what they... Um, been able to keep that up over the years because I've I, I have seen one or two other ones like that. You can check out my old video if you want to see exactly what it is, basically where it shoots the water uh, from one end to the other. And a lot of times they're very hard to keep working, but that one has steadily worked over many, many years. Well, you know what, guys? I need to get something to eat first. I'm still on my first cup of coffee. Uh, probably can't tell, but uh, I need to wake up just a little bit more. We'll see what the rest day brings, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Wow, tubers. Oh, let me readjust this. I just possibly had the worst service experience at my local Sonic. I, I still can't believe it. I, I rarely ever come here for breakfast. I was in the mood for a Sonic toaster, so I got a sausage, egg, and cheese toaster. I ordered a sausage, and cheese toaster, tater tots, and an orange juice. Right off the bat, she tells me, okay, we don't have any tater tots and we don't have any orange juice. And uh, I'm like, okay. And I said, that's fine. Well, then go ahead and just give me a coffee. And then she goes, we're out of coffee. And I'm like, I actually said to her, I'm like, are we on, am I on candid camera or something? And she didn't really say anything. And then I'm like, okay, then just give me a Coca-Cola. So I go to the front and I'm like, okay, they're out of orange juice, they're out of coffee, and they're out of tear tots. So what I wound up doing was getting french fries and then the Coke. So basically I made it into a lunch with just the toaster being the only breakfast item. And I must say the food itself was actually very good. I was pleasantly surprised. So I waited about four or five minutes, typical for Sonic. Lady comes out, I, I, I asked her before to give me a bunch of ketchup. She gives me two ketchups. And she won't give me any more. I don't know why. Maybe they're running out of ketchup, too. And um, I hand her the money. I hand her a 20 because I just went to the bank. That's all I have. And then she says, oh, I don't think I can change this. Let me go in and see. And at this point, I'm like, this has to be the worst employee I have ever seen in a Sonic. And to top it off, this woman was the assistant manager. I, it just boggles my mind how much service has declined over the years. Now, granted... If she's out of the stuff, I don't blame her specifically for that. Well, then again, it could be because we don't. I don't know if she's the one that's doing the ordering. She said stuff didn't come in on the truck last night. So that means somebody dropped the ball, whoever was ordering. But if you're out of all those things, you should at least try to make up for it with some kind of personality. This woman had a pickle face. I kid you not. She was, she was pickled on the inside and the outside. And she didn't say, oh, I'm sorry we're out of this. Can I help you? Can I get you uh, maybe, what, a free uh, a, a coupon for a free burger something? I mean, I would personally be embarrassed. If, and I did work at Sonic, and we there were times we ran out of different things. But I would personally be super embarrassed to tell somebody I was out of orange juice, tater tots, and coffee. And I would try to make it right, but I guess that's just me. I'm, uh, I'm the type of person that tries to do the very best he can, so... I know that wound up being a little bit of a rant, but, you know, it just, it, it stands to reason that you need to make sure you take care of your customers. That's how you keep customers. And unfortunately, as a society, I really think we've dropped the ball and we've really forgotten about that. Well, I'm here. It was supposed to be one of the garage shells. I don't know if they're actually doing it or not today. I'm going to pause this video for a minute and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. All right, tubers. Well, I am back home from the garage sales and this is my bounty for today. I'm going to go over each one of these individually with you and uh, show you. It was a decent day. Not a lot of garage sales, but you know, anytime you find something, it's always good. Let's start off with these two laptops here. These were the first things I picked up today. Now, these are by no means in great shape. Matter of fact, this one here on the right is probably going to be parts only. But I paid $3 for this one, 
a dollar for that one, so I really can't. This complain. first laptop here was actually very nice when it first came out. I remember these. Uh, it's a Dell Studio XPS. Uh, it's got a Centrino 2 or a Core 2 Duo processor. It was running Windows Vista, but as you can see, this one is pretty banged up. It's missing the hinge cover here, though the hinge itself does work. Um, actually, you know what? I should say that it's actually the cover for the, if looking at it closer, it's actually the cover for the wires. The hinge itself is in, still in one piece, but still fairly rough condition. And of course here, you could see the power port has been pushed in a little bit. We'll have to see if that indeed does work. But I mean, it is well equipped. It's got a uh, eSATA port on the side, slot loading DVD burner. I'm assuming that's a burner. But one of the coolest things I found in this was I went and pulled this out, it actually came with an 8 gigabyte, let's focus, PNY Premier SD card. So that was worth the three bucks alone. Next, I found one of these, and I know quite a few of you guys have ones like this. This is the Dell Inspiron 710M. This is one of those tiny little, um, almost netbook-like computers before netbooks were really a thing. This one is in decent shape. Uh, the stickers are missing. I assume this was probably running Windows XP. Uh, look in the side here. It does have an optical drive. It has a DVD-ROM CD writer. Uh, looks like it got a modem, Ethernet. Power jack, S video out. Now that's kind of odd. It does have the battery in it just like the other one, but I believe this one is stone dead. Yeah. Got a little ant there too. <laughs> Ports on here, uh, another SD card slot, no card in this one, unfortunately. Um, PCMCA card slot reader, two USB 2.0 ports, and a VGA out. So once again, not a bad deal for two laptops. That's basically four bucks worth of laptops right there. Next, for $10, I picked up another pink DS. That's right. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I always wind up getting these pink ones. I guess it's uh, when little girls grow up. It does have the stylus right there. And this is a DS... Light, so it's just a regular DS light, not a DSi or anything. See if I can turn this on. It is in decent shape, and as you can see here, it does function properly. No really bad scratches or anything. Came with the charger itself right there, and a whole bunch of games, albeit they're kind of, uh, I use the word girly games, but that's really what they are. And I don't know why my uh, cell phone doesn't really want to focus well today. There we go. Let's see if I could turn autofocus on. Bingo. There's some of the games there. You got Brave, uh, Pet Shop. You got a couple different Pet Shop games there. What's that one? Uh, I can't really read that one. Build-A-Bear, I think. Uh, Cooking, Puppy Palace, Zoo Tycoon, uh, Legos Harry Potter. So again, a lot of the so-so the games. But I figured for $10 with the case, the charger, was definitely worth it. I'll probably list this one, maybe try to get 30 40 bucks for it. We'll have to see what happens there. Next, picked up this AT&T Motorola Backflip with Moto Blur. This is from 2010. I got this for a dollar. Couldn't pass it up for that. It is uh, an Android phone, probably Android 2, I'm assuming. Has GPS and a 5 megapixel camera. Decent. The phone is in there and in decent shape. Um, not really scratched up or anything. You know what? This is when you really need to have some fingernails. <laughs> there we go. You can see it's, what's really cool about it is you didn't see many of these Android flip phones. Basically, just flips like this and you actually have a real keyboard on there. Have to see later on if it works. But again, for a dollar, could not beat that. Picked up... Jackass Unrated 3-Pack, painfully hilarious, and this is brand new. None of these have been opened. So you got the original Jackass movie, Jackass number 2, and then Jackass 25 or 2.5 Unrated. I guess it is missing Jackass 3 on there, but you know what? Still not a bad deal for them being brand new, and of course the Unrated means there's going to be some real raunchy stuff there. Next... Got one of these sky can, scan atomic clocks. This one uh, is still trying to find the uh, time. Probably going to take a while. Paid a buck for that. Not, not really too much to be said about this. It's just like the one upstairs. It'll automatically give you the time, the date, and the temperature. So for a dollar, not a bad deal. And last but not least, got this behemoth. This is, I believe, a 22 or a 23-inch 
Dell monitor. Um, got it at the same place I got the two laptops. And I wound up giving um, $3 for this one. If I go to the side here, you can probably see the ports on the bottom. Uh, let's see, got regular power port. Uh, this is the power for the speakers. Got um, DVI, VGA. We got, um, this is the USB um, input for the ports here. So you basically, this works like a hub. You can have two USB ports here and then two ports on the side. So once again, not a bad deal for today's haul. That's what I got. Um, hopefully as we get closer to fall, people are going to go ahead and start uh, having some more garage sales. But as of right now, it's been fairly slim pickings, but... I think I did all right. All right, Tuber. So I'm here in my local auto zone. And the reason I'm here is I'm having a little issue with the van. Give me one sec. I just got to put this up. Okay. The starter solenoid relay has started to go bad. And I'm going to see if they have one. I ordered one from Rock Auto. And unfortunately, uh, it was the wrong one. The one I need is this one right here which I don't know if this will show up here. It's K3, which is the starter solenoid relay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out and we'll go in here and see if they actually have this relay. This is the number on here. It is Omron 04692141AA. So here's hoping I can All find right, it. All right, well that was kind of interesting. I just left AutoZone. Um, good and bad news. Unfortunately, the bad news is they did not have the relay that I needed. The good news was is I got some really good advice from, of all things, a customer that I think delivers stuff here. He came out and he took a look at it. Apparently, with the way they designed these, there are two different relays. There is the starter solenoid relay and then the actual ignition relay. The one, the starter solenoid relay actually controls the starter itself. The ignition relay controls the key or the actual ignition. And um, I didn't pull that one out because I'll be honest, I didn't know that that could have been an issue. When I did pull that out, there was tons of corrosion built up underneath. So I definitely think that that's the culprit. Uh, luckily, they're bo both relays are the same. So what I'm going to do, he gave me the advice of trying O'Reilly's across the street. Probably shouldn't have done that, but he wanted me to make sure I got um, I got the part I need. I think at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace both relays since they're exactly the same cover all my bases and hopefully this is going to solve the problem. Now I didn't have an issue with it uh, the past couple of days but as that corrosion builds up and the relay degrades more the problem is definitely going to get worse. So I'm going to head over to O'Reilly's real quick. Hopefully they have that. If I if they don't I'll just have to order it online. I'll have to go back to Rock Auto. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I got a few more stops I got to make and then I will talk to you when I get home. All right, tubers, what an ordeal. I finally found the relay I need at Napa and it's just a generic equivalent, but it is marked the exact same as the other one. Let me pull this out real quick. You can see here, I don't know if it'll show very well. Let me get in the sun. Yeah, it's hard to see. The 30, 80, 6, uh, 78A, 87, 85, and it's an exact match for this one here. I don't think it's, again, it, I know it's hard to see on the bottom of this one, but you can even match the diagram side to side. Let me try to get a better thing here. You can see right there, 85, 87, 86, 30. 8587 8630 and it um, it matched with the part number so I'm gonna go ahead and install these here and we'll go ahead and give this a try hopefully this fixes my intermittent starter right, tubers. well it's a good thing I took a look at that closer more closely before I started the car um, that was actually still the wrong relay I needed one that is normally open this one is normally closed so it's the opposite of the one I need so at this point it looks like it's gonna be a dealer purchase so I have to head over there tomorrow I'm gonna end the vlog here for today because I know I'm getting a little long-winded. Hope you guys are really enjoying these. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.